Hello guys, how you doing? So do you know who the most dangerous person in the world is? The most dangerous person in the world. It's not someone in ISIS, it's not some mega maniac, it's not some criminal, it's not some government leader. The most dangerous person in the world is you. You are the most dangerous person in the world. The reason why you're the most dangerous person in the world is because you have the ability to think for yourself. You do. Unfortunately, most people are not dangerous. They're not dangerous because they don't think for themselves. Their minds are so closed that they can never think for themselves. Now, how does your mind become closed? Your mind becomes closed because you don't understand that the all is mental. And once you understand that the all is mental, it means that you can think for yourself, that you can create based on you thinking, on your thinking, you thinking, on your thinking. You see, we were all born into a country and born into parents, born into religions, born into societies, born into Democrats, Republicans, born into different types of constructs that tells you how to think. And the moment you start thinking outside of what the group that you've been affiliated with, they come against you. They want to hurt you. They want to hurt you physically. They want to hurt you mentally. They want to hurt you spiritually because you must think the same way they think. Now, some of them will come at you in that format because if you think outside the box, it means that they can too. And they don't want you to do that because they have a fear that says that they don't want to think outside the box. They're comfortable in the way that they think because they are comfortable in that they know what they know and what they know is good enough for them. So if you show them something different, then they're not going to like it. And so you must be pulled back in so that you don't go out so far away that you start thinking so differently that it causes them to think differently as well. And that is scary. So if you truly, truly want to be free, if you truly, truly want to be a dangerous person, a person who puts out and carve their own path not the person who says they're flowing down the river and somebody dug out a, a canal and then you just follow that pathway simply because somebody else dug it but dig your own canal and flow down the river that you choose not the one that somebody else has chosen for you now some of us live in, in situations where we don't even realize somebody has chosen it for us you grew up in a religion that, and this, I'm not picking on any religion, but you grew up in a religion, and because you grew up in that religion, you cannot let it go, that you have to believe in it. And if somebody tries to tell you anything differently, then they are of the devil, they are of Satan, that they got demons, that they got all these different things. But if you, tell, if you go outside of Christianity, they will tell you that in Christianity. If you go outside of Islam, they will tell you that in Islam. There's so many religions that if you go outside of them, they will try to tell you that there is something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. The fact that you have the mind to think. You see, here's the thing. In every religion, they teach you that you have free will. But that free will is only free if you think about what they think about. If you do the things that they say that you should do. If you live your life the way you, they say you should live your life. But here's the problem with that. When you study any religion, I don't care which one it is. The theology of man concerning that religion has changed over and over and over again. That depending upon the wave of who's in power, it has changed. And each one of them want to keep you ignorant. They want to keep you subservient. It's like a bishop said in, four, in the 400s, that if we allow the people to read the Bible, then they will come to their own conclusions and therefore we will lose control and we will lose power. What does that say? It is like those who came at the point of a spear and said, you will convert to this religion or I will kill your parents or I will kill your children. But you and you maintain it and you've lived that way forever for the rest of your life generation after generation that started from a point of fear at the point of a spear or the point of a knife it's just the way things have happened but the most dangerous person in the world is somebody who thinks for themselves somebody whose mind is open to say that let me hear what you have to say and I will actually think about it without already having preconceived ideas or notions concerning it that is a dangerous person the government doesn't like a person who thinks outside the box, who thinks for themselves. They want you to follow the lockstep of America. They want you to follow the lockstep of France, of Germany, of South Africa, of Egypt, of, a of any country in Asia, Japan, China. Follow. Do not lead. Follow. Do not lead. This is what every civic organization wants you to do. Follow us and do not lead. Don't step outside the boundaries of what we have already determined is what it is. But understand that the all is mental. That when 
the infinite intelligence, God, Jehovah, whatever name you call him by, him or her, it really doesn't matter, whatever name you call it by, gave you free will to think for yourself. What have you done with it? Have you utilized it? Have you said that I will be who I determine that I want to be? I will believe what I determine is right for me. I will believe what is right and what is wrong. Now, yes, there are some universal rights and there are some universal wrongs. And you know what? In every religion that I have studied, in every philosophy I have studied, they pretty much all have the same rights and wrong. There are universal right or wrong. Do not steal. It's a universal right or wrong. Do not covet what others have. It's a universal right or wrong. Do not murder. A universal right or wrong. Those things are there. You know, some have 10 commandments, some have 42, some have 100 and whatnot. There are many different ones, but they all pretty much boil down to the same things. So, yes, there are some universal rights and there are some universal wrongs. And we should follow those. You should. But in the rest of it, in everything else that deals with it, we should seek the knowledge. You know, in each one, they say you're told, seek knowledge, wisdom and understanding. And the more you seek these things, your minds will be open. But let me tell you, as you first begin to seek them, as the gospel according to Thomas says, you will first be troubled. And you'll be troubled because when you find out new information, you find out things that have been hidden from you. You find out things that the, the organization that you're in preaches about, but is contradictory to what they say compared to what they actually are coming from. It will trouble you. Because there's a part of you that wants to follow. There's a part of you that's secure in what you've been brought up. But it will trouble you to think something differently. But once you get past being troubled, once you come to a level of understanding, it says that you will marvel. You will marvel at everything that has been hidden from you. And once you marvel, you will then rule. Now, when it talks about rule, it's not talking about ruling over other people. It's talking about ruling over your own mind, your own consciousness, your own state. When you control your state of mind, when you control the state that you live in, how you think, how you perceive everything, when you are in control of you and not someone else in control of you, you become dangerous. You become a ruler. You become part of the all. You become part of God, however you want to call it. You know, if you look at the teaching of Yeshua, he said that, you know, I and my father are one. He was different. He didn't preach the same thing everybody else um, preached. He became different and they killed him for it. When you look at the Buddha, Sadat, he taught something. I'm saying his name wrong, but when you look at his teachings, he thought he taught differently. And when he first started teaching differently, those who were around him left him. They called him. They say you are a disgrace. Because you're doing it differently. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to follow suit. But his enlightenment began about 800 years before Christ. And in that enlightenment, he changed the nation. He changed the world. Because he dared to be different. Even in our own times, our own history, there are those who stood out against the tyranny of following. And they've been killed for it. They've been persecuted for it. They've been lied about. But then there are those who realize that what they were talking about was truth. And what they were talking about and what they stood for was something that was beyond what the rest of the world can take hold of. And in all of it, we're just purely talking about free will. It is a true free will to say that I don't necessarily agree with what everybody else is agreeing upon. What society says is right. So I will move forward. I will think differently and I will act differently. I will be differently. And you can do it in the simplest of things. The simplest of things you can do it. It is not always something difficult. Just in your relationship. Who said that you have to be the exact same way as everybody else in a relationship? I'll leave you with this one. I hate when a person says that marriage is hard work. Marriage is not hard work. Marriage is only hard work when you pick somebody that you are not compatible with. And now it's hard work to try to force it to be compatible. But if you pick someone that you're compatible with, where they understand that you love them just by mm -hmm. being yourself and they love you just by them being themselves, it is not hard work. It is work, but it's just the work of you being you and them being them. And then that is not hard work. That's pretty much easy work. So, hey, think for yourselves and be yourselves.